AI browsers are being marketed as the next big step forward. Faster research, smarter summaries, and less work for the user. But when a browser can actually read the web and act on what it sees, that changes the security model in ways most people haven't really thought about yet. And now this video is going to have a, a look at a real life example tested by a browser security researchers and explain the risk in, in plain English. And most importantly, we'll offer some practical advice for using AI browsers safely today. Now, this isn't fear mongering and it's not a technical deep dive into these issues. It's about understanding where the genuine risks are and how we can all stay in control. OK, so AI browsers don't just display websites like the traditional browsers do. They interpret them using large language models, LLM models. That creates a new category of risk that traditional browsers never really had. Now, this isn't panic, but it is a genuine shift, and it's worth understanding how this actually works. So an AI browser isn't really one single product. It's a cat new category, really, that's forming right now, really. Now, examples include things like Perplexity Comet, which is a browser built around an AI agent that can read pages, summarize content, and carry out tasks across sites. This is the download page for you. It's I've not used it much, but it's supposed to be very impressive. That's Perplexity. I'll put a link in the description if you want to try it out. There are lots of experimental AI modes inside different Chrome-based browsers that you might have seen, where the, there's sort of an assistant is integrated directly into the browser. You might have seen uh, the AI assistant in Google, for instance, as well, rather than added as a simple extension. There are lots of browser-based AI agents developed by companies like OpenAI. These are designed to navigate websites and complete sort of workflows on a user's behalf. And there's AI enhanced browsers and research efforts from, from very privacy focused firms such as Brave, the Brave browser, obviously, uh, you may have heard of is very security focuses, but they're still integrating AI here. They are actively studying AI specific security risks though, which is a, a bonus really. The key difference here is agency. Traditional browsers display their content. Whereas AI browsers will interpret and act on that content. And that's where the security model changes. It sounds better, but they present much bigger security risks. The biggest risk, um, and the one we're going to mention here, is called prompt injection. Basically, a website can include text or instructions that might be completely invisible or meaningless to a human. They could be in, uh, appearing on the screen and the AI interprets them and sees them and acts on them, but you you don't even notice them. The AI can treat those instructions as commands rather than just content. There's no virus here. There's no exploit. You can just manipulate the interpretation of the text that appears on the screen. It opens up a whole new um, range of attacks for all these nasty hackers that are online trying to steal our money, identity, and credential. Okay, so we're going to show you a real example here and just reference some of the study here. <coughs> Excuse me. This isn't theoretical. This is a documented real-world test from Brave security team, where they tested Perplexity's Comet AI browser just using a simple Reddit thread. Now, if you want to read about this, this is the, this goes into more detail than I'm going to cover here. This is the article from Brave, and I'll put a link below. Um, How to Geek have do, done an explainer on it as well, if you want to read more detail here. As I say, I'm just covering it on a high level here. So what's happened? Okay, so what happened was they embedded hidden instructions inside a Reddit post. That's it. Uh, this is the actual post, I think, and the, the instructions were hidden on the Reddit post. Normal users wouldn't notice this, but any AI-enabled browser could read this. And when Comet's AI analyzed the page, it interpreted the hidden instructions as commands. It prioritized them over the users, what the user wanted to do, and responded in a way shaped by a, an injected prompt here. 
Nothing was downloaded at all, no malware was installed, your virus checker wouldn't pick up anything, you wouldn't even notice anything's really happening. The AI simply trusted this web page too much. So, to summarise, they basically asked the AI to summarise a Reddit thread. That thread contained a malicious instruction hidden in one of the comments, which was not visible to most users. The AI read it, treated it as a legitimate command, and then started sharing the user's email and password in the Reddit comments. Now, of course, a real hacker wouldn't do that. It wouldn't put it up all board. They would just steal your username and your password and do something nasty with it. So that's all that happened. So the researchers see this as really as a design challenge and not really a bug. It's not a bug of the AI. It's just how the AI works. So traditional security tools basically look for malicious software or suspicious behavior. Um, prompt injection like this doesn't trigger any of them. So it makes them almost superfluous. This is about language and interpretation and not malware. So your antivirus uh, won't protect you at all, really, in these situations. So there's no evidence of this large scale criminal exploitation happening right now for these. The, the attacks aren't widespread, but they've been demonstrated in labs and people are very, very aware of them in security researchers. So they will happen in a large scale. So it's good to be aware of these. The weakness is very real and inherent. And it operates on how current AI systems work. I don't want anybody to be one of the first victims of this. So what does this not mean? It's not a reason to panic or install everything AI based, but it is a reason to use AI browsers deliberately rather than blindly. The AI browsers aren't broken. They're functioning as they're supposed to, and they, they're very useful for their intended purpose. So the level of concern and the risk depends on how you use AI browser features and how often you use them, really. The high risk use cases, the more sensitive the task and the more autonomy you give the AI, the higher the risk. Um, I would say certainly be very careful using AI browsers for anything related to banking or finance, anything to do with email accounts when accessing your Gmail or whatever webmail accounts that you might use. Um, convenience is where trust quietly creeps in here. Password managers don't access password vaults or anything with AI enabled browsers. And be careful about allowing AI to act without confirmation. This increases the potential impact of prompt injection hugely. So practical safety tips. Treat AI browsers like a smart assistant. Helpful, but supervise them. Research and summaries, uh, that's where they're in their element and that they're fine to use that. Don't automate sensitive tasks. Uh, use them for research, as I say, and make sure that you've got confirmations on. Make sure if um, the AI agent is going to do something, it tells you about it and you have to confirm it. And keep the browsing separate for accounts. Don't try and use separate uh, browser profiles or browsers entirely for sensitive account access. So money, identity accounts, use a traditional browser and stay away from AI, in my humble opinion. So the bigger picture. Now, we've seen this pattern happen before with new technology, really. I'm trying to get this out now. A lot of security researchers are doing this. The capabilities arrive first, and all the security risks and the regulation and the caveats arrive slowly afterwards, basically. It significantly expands the attack service of, of surface of just using a browser online. Um, there's lots of capabilities creating lots of new vulnerabilities, and your virus checker won't won't protect you. So bottom line, there are valid concerns here. These um, articles, if you want to read them, are, are true and they work perfectly. And I I think the Comet browser, the perplexity browser where the it, with the reddit thread was was quite scary really because it demonstrated how simple it was and how little knowledge you'd have of it um, the risks are manageable and with appropriate precautions you can use ai brave browsers perfectly safely but use them intentionally make conscious decisions about how and when you use ai they're powerful tools but they they do introduce 
a lot of risks that most people are not aware of yet. Okay, well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. Hope somebody out there has found it interesting, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.